Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a pretty cool video. I've been asked a couple times, actually in person when I'm at work, about my beard and how I get it to kind of be the color and the shape that it is. Now, I will be honest, a lot of it has to do with that beard skincare video that I put out. The face wash really has helped. I feel like it exfoliate like that dead skin around the hair and the hair's definitely been growing and I feel like a little thicker. Um, I'm not necessarily more than what I had before, but what I have is definitely growing in as its fullest as it can. Um, and then I do use like the beard oil to lay it down. Down, but this is gonna be more of how I kind of like for me right here I have like no hair and so when I do a full beat or when I try and like when I have a really strong um, like jawline I'll kind of fill it in a little bit more so if you guys want to see how I fill this in and tint my beard definitely stay tuned all right guys so let me show you how to get a nice even beard so I'm gonna take a disposable spoolie I mean you can use any kind of spoolie any kind of one of these little like brushy things and we're gonna brush through the hairs all going the same direction I'm gonna first take my Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil, and this is in shade number six. And I'm very lightly, this is where people go wrong. The fact or the thought is to give you definition without it looking like too much of like a harsh line. So we're gonna go in, and like for me, I'm pretty even all right here. Up here is where I lose a lot of the definition. And then like this section right there, I'm like super like, I have no hair in this section. So we're gonna lightly fill that in on both sides. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to make the hair all the same color. Cause if you notice, mine's pretty uneven. And I got a lot of red in it too. So we're gonna lightly. Get that shape and then start drawing those hair motions going straight down. That's gonna be about where we stop. See, look at that. So much cleaner. So then we're gonna take, I actually don't like to use the one that comes on here because I like the bent one for the face area. And we're just gonna lightly brush it. So this is really for more of up close. And so you can follow this kind of thought throughout the rep, throughout the rest of the beard, throughout the rest of the beard. So if you have like patches, like holes throughout here, like I have a little bit of a lighter spot right there. And if you just want to define an area a little bit more, you can use it to just define in shape. So we're going to do the other side. And kind of went a little high on that side, so I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and use it like an eraser. And very lightly, and I'm going quickly, but I'm using very light pressure. I'm gonna clean up both sides, but I'm gonna clean up this side and kind of drag it down. And then redefine it a little lower this time. there and usually that's where most people have the most problems if you've got patches throughout here this is actually the easiest area to fill in and make it less noticeable it's right up here when you've got that clean line because then it's like wait is that a really clean line because you have a lot of facial hair or is that a really clean line because you drew it on so really want to make sure that stays nice and faded and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take the their real brown mascara and we're going to use our disposable wand again and we're going to very lightly pick some up once this runs out of like all the product i'll probably just use it straight off of here but for right now, it's a little too much product all at once. So I'm gonna very lightly pick some up. Now the fuller my beard's gotten, the more I use. So if your beard is very short and more like stubble style, use very, very little of this because this can go wrong very easily. And we're gonna start at the back where I'm like the most red. And I'm just gonna work my way up. Now this is to change the coloring. It will also give you a little bit more definition and make the brow or the hairs look fuller. So I do like to brush a little bit up here. But its main purpose is to change the coloring. How much more even that looks. Okay. Now around the mouth area, same thing, we use very little. Because this can go this can look way too dark, especially if you don't have darker hair. 
So keep that in mind, you can use different shades of mascara or you can dilute it down with like a clear mascara. Bam. Oh, hello. Contour looks so clean now. And that's how you get a nice full beard. So that's how I get my beard to have the shape that it has and kind of all be the same color. Um, like I said, you can use different shades of mascara for different hair color and stuff like that. But this is kind of the color I rock now that my hair is really, really rooted and I've got gray at the ends. I mean, the gray is still really dark, so even whenever I freshly get it done, like the gray against it, I feel like still could work, especially if I had just a little bit of root. Um, but that's kind of just how I fill it in and make it look a little fuller. So, thanks for watching. Remember to follow me on all my social media. My Instagram is fakeface underscore one. My Twitter is under Mr. Fakeface. Snapchat is Otis.Reed. And my Facebook is under Reed Scroggins. So check me out there to see me post a little bit more often and to see like finished looks and like product lists. Um, I also list them below. And any shadows and stuff that I use from Makeup Geek, be sure you guys check out the links below. I've kind of already found them for you. So you can just click add to your basket and check out it if you want. Um, because I did sign up for like their affiliate program. So I think that's really cool that they offer that. And remember guys, it's your life. Make it beautiful.